All right, so as this is our first day to put our hands in the clay, I'm going to take it out of the bag. And depending on um, what you have to work with at home, um, I wouldn't work on top of the big bag because that's the piece that we're going to put our things in later. But if you want to use that secondary bag to work on top of, you can. Or if you have some newspaper at home, that might help you clean up the dust. So if you have, uh, if you told me that you wanted to have a handle, then you have a little bit of a bigger piece of clay. And I want you to at least divide, take some of this clay off. If you're going to put a handle on, take about a third off and you're going to see later. If you told me that you do not want to handle, what you want to do is at least take a piece of clay off and then take, take a little bit of extra clay off, about like that much, for later just in case. And you're going to want to put this extra clay into your plastic bag and put it away and keep it wrapped up for later. You really want to make sure that you're taking care of your clay because there is no extra clay for you. Um, and if it dries out on you, you're going to have a hard time a little bit later. So with your big chunk of clay, this is, you see how my hands are fitting around it. This is about a pound of clay. I'm going to take this now and divide it in half. What we want to make is we want to make two spheres that fit nicely into our hands. Your clay has already been wedged, meaning that the air has already been kneaded out of it. So just with minimal touching, kind of put your clay into those spheres. And you're going to need two of them. So that's good for my first one. And I also need to do this with my other. All right, so they don't have to be absolutely perfect. They just need to be roundish and you want to make sure that they're about the same size. So you notice how my two are the same size. All right, so what we need is we need to, we're going to make a pinch pot and we're going to put them together. If you did do clay with me in sixth grade, you might remember this. Since we are in intro, we're starting back at the beginning again with basic hand building. So we're going to put our thumb, hold one, in, hold your clay in one hand. You're going to put your thumb into the middle of that sphere. And what you're doing is pinching like this. And you want to do that all around. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pit, put my clay in my hand and I'm going to just pinch, pinch, and pinch on the inside. So I'm going to just use one hand just to hold the clay and the other one I'm pinching and I'm pushing upwards with my the tips of my fingers and I'm going like this to pinch it upwards as well as to pull the clay open. And if the clay is really too much for your hands, if you have like smaller hands, it is okay to start over again, take some of that clay off and make sure that the spheres fit nicely into your hands, depending on what the size of your hands are. Now, as we're opening these up, we're looking for something that we could put cereal in. And you're noticing now that I'm using two hands. You want to try to keep the lip of your bowls pretty even. So if it's going too high on one side, then you want to stop working over here and work on the other side of your bowl. And so I'm pinching from the bottom and going towards the top. And I'm not, don't do this. You don't want to pull it outwards that way. You want to pinch it so that you get the largest bowl that you can and so that the walls of your bowl are even. If you feel on the bottom of your bowl that there's a whole lot of clay down there, then you are definitely not finished. 
and you want to get this all the way built all the way around. So that is about where I'm going to stop for what I'm doing. And from here, you want to do the same thing with your second sphere. So in the next video, I'll have both of these spheres um, turned into pinch pots. Remember that what you're looking for are even bowl walls and that the bottom of your bowl is about the same as your walls are.